Before you take advantage of today's online toy, toy deals or any other sales this week, there's some steps that you need to follow to make sure that toy is not a hidden danger to the child in your life. Jennifer Waugh explains what you should do before you buy. I talked with an expert from Wolfson Children's Hospital. She says they do see an increase this time of year of kids rush to the ER because of a toy, which is why as you scroll through all of your online options, don't get too caught up in the pictures. The first thing that you should check is the age range. As Danielle Carlino with Wolfson shows us, its primary purpose is to keep the child in your life safe from choking. This is a small parts tester. Um, if a product can fit, an element of a product can fit into here, that means it is a choking hazard. Um, and that can even be on teddy bears and stuffed animals, these removable eyes that we see so often. Um, that is also a choking hazard as well. So that is from a safety standpoint, 100%. Carlino also recommends you do your homework first before you click or scan. Find out if the toy has problems. Read the reviews. Beware also of third party or independent sellers who may not always conform to Consumer Product Safety Commission standards. And there may be something inside that toy that you don't even know is a danger. And that is button batteries. Um, these button batteries can not only be in children's toys, but it can be in common household items as well. But with children's toys, it's required to be in a screwed back. Um, but with adult you know, items such as key fobs, even these musical cards, they have button batteries in them as well. This is what a button battery looks like. You can see it's thin. It's about the size of a quarter, but some are even smaller. Carlino says there is a misconception that if a child swallows one of these, that they will pass it easily. But the reality is these have gotten lodged in a child's throat. They can cause a chemical burn in as little as two hours. And in severe cases, they've even caused death. So check to make sure that they are secured tightly in a toy. And something else, the easiest way to, to know if a toy is too small for a young child is if it fits into a toilet paper roll. Then it's a choking hazard. Anything bigger is safe. Jennifer Watch Channel 4, The Local Station.